Some people will wonder whether Cheltenham Ernie is closing. Uh, this is not the case. Cheltenham Ernie is not closing. Uh, Cheltenham Ernie will remain exactly the same. It's open as an Ernie from 8 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. in the evening, seven days a week, and as a minor injuries and illness unit from 8 p.m. in the evening until 8 a.m. in the morning. People may wonder what they should do if they are unwell. They should do exactly what they should do now. Either call their general practitioner for advice or 111 or their pharmacist or look online. Uh, that's the best way because then you can be directed to the best place to receive the care you need. If you have a life or limb threatening an emergency, of course, you should call 999. In this way, whoever you talk to, the healthcare provider, can direct you to the best part of the system in Gloucestershire for the kind of care that you need, whether that's one of our minor injuries and illness units, an emergency department in either Cheltenham or Gloucester, or for admission. People might wonder what this means, uh, should they need admission if they're in Cheltenham A&E? Well, it will mean exactly the same as happens now for people who are in Cheltenham A&E with a surgical problem. They'll be seen by the A&E doctors and transferred to Gloucester for review by the appropriate specialty team. Uh, this could be a surgeon, this could be a medic, this could be a gynaecologist, etc. Uh, we have um, dedicated ambulances available to us run by the hospital to transfer patients between sites if necessary, including a paramedic ambulance if they're uh, unwell. There are services where patients will be admitted directly to Cheltenham, for example stroke patients. We also have specialist services in urology and in oncology. All of those ambulances will still come to Cheltenham and there may be other ambulances based on the way people are assessed by the paramedics where the paramedics feel in agreement with the protocols that we've, we've made that they can be treated in Cheltenham A&E. There are benefits to patients in general and there are also particular benefits to Cheltenham General Hospital. So it will mean that patients who are unwell are likely to get to see the appropriate specialist more quickly. They won't have to be transferred from one site to another because the ambulances will be taking them if necessary to the most appropriate location. And we all know that people who get seen by the appropriate specialist uh, more quickly are more likely to be treated quickly or to be seen and discharged if um, appropriate. There are also significant improvements to the services in Cheltenham. So for example, we're able to provide a consultant now in our ambulatory care unit, which means that patients who are referred by the emergency department in Cheltenham will be seen by a consultant um, and therefore again uh, assessed more quickly with a more senior review and more likely to uh, lead to early treatment and onward referral or discharge as appropriate. And just to be clear, the overnight care in Cheltenham remains um, as before, there is a medical registrar on site 24-7 with uh, other junior doctors, surgical cover, uh, cover for the oncology unit and also um, the intensive care unit. So there's um, no reduction in the care available to patients overnight, particularly if um, they're unwell and require review by a doctor.